In today's video, I want to talk about something really interesting that's happening in the Linux world, especially if you're an Ubuntu user. Ubuntu is planning to change some of its most important command line tools like LS, CP, and MV. Now, these are the tools we use almost every day on the terminal. But instead of using the classic versions that come from the GNU project, Ubuntu wants to start using new versions of these tools that are written in a modern programming language called Rust. So UUtils is a cross-platform re-implementation of the GNU core utils in Rust. It aims to be a drop-in replacement for the GNU utilities. So why is this a big deal? Well, Rust is known for being very safe and secure. It helps prevent common types of bugs that can cause crashes or even security problems. It's also really fast and modern. Ubuntu believes that by using tools written in Rust, the system can become more stable, more secure, and easier to maintain in the long run. But this change won't happen overnight. It's starting as an experiment in Ubuntu 2510, and if everything goes well, we might see these Rust-based tools as the default in Ubuntu 2604 LTS. Now, to make the transition easier and more flexible, Ubuntu has introduced a new command line tool called Oxidizer. This tool lets users switch between the traditional GNU commands and the new Rust versions whenever they want. So if you try the Rust tools and don't like them or something doesn't work, you can simply switch back. Now, this move has gotten a lot of attention in the Linux community. Some people are really excited because it feels like a fresh start using newer and safer technology, but others are a bit curious. They worry that replacing trusted tools that have worked for years might lead to problems or break existing scripts and workflows. There's also been some discussion about software licenses. The old GNU tools uses something called the GPL license, while the Rust versions use the MIT license, which is a bit more flexible. Now, some users are concerned that Ubuntu might be trying to move away from GNU on purpose, but Ubuntu's developers have said clearly that this change isn't about licensing politics, it's simply about using the best tools available till date. If you are curious to try it out yourself, you can install Oxidizer using Rust Package Manager or download from GitHub. Once it's installed, just run this command to switch to the new Rust tools. And run this command to go back to the GNU commands. Ubuntu is exploring a new direction by slowly replacing its core Linux tools with Rust-based versions. It's not final yet and is still being tested, but it's an exciting step toward building a more modern and secure system. So what do you guys think about all this? Are you excited for Rust in Ubuntu or do you prefer sticking to the classic tools? Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Rail. I will see you in the next one.